Okay, and welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2 with Wayno. Currently going to make some silver. Uh, yeah. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. So, last episode we got some new, ep uh, new upgrades here and here and down here so but we need to uh, make some more machines and spread out a little bit more I don't like claustrophobic bases everybody that I watch on streams and that they make this like tiny house and then work around it and it's like just expand man just spread out a little bit more so and that's what I like to do. I, I like to have like a 9x9 nine nine with the set machinery in it. So I'll have like a tech reborn, I'll have actual additions. Um, the only one that I don't really have inside is immersive engineering because they're multi blocks and as you can see there's three just there. And they get quite big. So I usually turn a lot of them in uh, into a 9x9 nine nine and, and put it. So I think in the next coming episode, I'm going to shift everything around. I might actually make it a surprise. So if you guys are watching and you continue to watch, I think I might turn it into a surprise of between the episodes of moving everything around. So then you can see how my base turns out. The only problem is, is I'm going to have to find the tech reborn ones that actually break that without losing anything so um, I want the actual additions and the crusher in their own room and the, the uh, double crusher and the smeltery I can't remember the smeltery name and I want my own little room so move all the chests into a proper 9x9 and put some torches in there and make it pretty and can't do a bed at the moment um, actually I could because I can make the uh, I should be able to make the stuff helping with Botania. So, yeah, uh, Botania never inside either. They go in a pretty big area by itself. Um, so I think I might shift a lot of it around. I won't make any new machines. I'll just move it. I'll probably make some uh, wiring. So I won't do immersive engineering because I just don't like it. Um, it looks good. It, it, it's it is good, but I prefer lasers or the thermal dynamics. Um, so yeah, we will probably shift it all around in between episodes, and I'll make you come back and be like, "Oh my god, it looks so awesome!" You know, and it looks like we ran out of. Oh, I didn't get it. Looks like we ran out of glass. So. And I think I put it over here actually. Uh, I did, there's 50 there and 60 glass there. So, bam. So this will cook up quite nicely. This will make, it's only making one shard every, oh no, three. So we'll eventually have to upgrade this to the better stuff. So oh, I was making the casing. Well, I need. So I've got some gold in there. I just need the silver to be passed through. I've got five on me, um, and that will make the new casing. Ah, <sighs> this one here. So we need. 6, 8, plus another 4, so 12 total, and that will give us our new casing, so we'll do that. Um, so this episode is pretty much just upgrading everything. Move, um, I'm not going to move anything, so um, I'll probably make a new machinery. Uh, we are technically in the smeltery we need to work on, so... Um, yeah, so I'll probably make a uh, smeltery over there under the dropper 
because you need blood later on. Oh no, actually I need two or three smelteries. So I'll make a small one up here somewhere. As I said, I'll have to expand the platform. So I'll probably do it over here. I'll move them over there and put it here. Um, and I'll build a nice 9x9 nine nine around here. Move all this. So yeah, I think I think it's shifting time because we've expanded a lot and we need a lot more room. So that will happen over time, uh, over um, over the episodes, and we need more. So since we're always in need of sand, I always try and fill that up every time I pull out of it, because between soul sand and glass, it gets used a lot. Probably make another double crusher, so I'll need more uh, seeds for seed oil. So it's going to be a big job just to focus on one little bit at the moment. So that's nearly done. So we should get quite a bit of iron. See, we are. So we'll smash through it. The only problem is, is this is really slow due to uh, well, not really slow, but um, what do you call it? Uh, the heating of this, because the heat source is only uh what was it 27 i think it is there yeah, here 23 so the heat source here so you got so what am i sitting on either this one or this one or oh, these two so it could be even only four so i should get a nether rack under there actually cuz that is higher then lava 23 here. So, see, it could be tile dot lava is 4 heat or tile dot lava is 6 heat. So, which one is it? Because I don't know. And tile dot fire is 8. So, this should be netherrack under that so if we put a netherrack because we do have flint and s we can make flint and steel so there's flint and there's some steel so nether unlocked oh never seen that before okay uh, flint and steel and then we need a netherrack so we'll quickly I'll just should I pick that up? Yeah. Nah, I won't bother picking it up. Don't really need it. Except for fire. Not fire. For light. That's in the wrong spot. But that's okay because you do that. Remove all this. as that was to stop the lava from running out so we got flint and steel and then we go BAM now that should cook that faster which it should So yeah, dings are a little bit faster. So we want to get the speed right up. The quicker that goes, the less that's used. Um, I still don't know what that is. I'll have to look up in the book or... So, where is it? See, the casings... See, it doesn't really tell you what they are. They just just says what you can do with them by the look. So there's the condenser. See, different variants of condensers affect uh, efficiency and affect speed. So 
yeah, I honestly don't know. Um, so we'll have to work that out. I might read up on it and see what people say. I need to find the bugged that. I'm just going over things, aren't I? Um, there's another cat. That cat is back. Um, okay, so I'm I'm losing train of thought what I'm meant to be doing. Um, so it's not the carpenter we need; it's a thermiotic fabricator. Um, because if I want to get the farm up and running, I need that. Because I need lots and lots to get that. So, ah, uh, we need lots of this. See, I would just turn this on. Actually, let's see what the actual additions. Ah, one's cold. Ah, uh, no, that's coal. Off its cause. We want to get a farmer eventually, so this is going to be fun to make. You need to make. Oh, okay, didn't know you could do it. Let's quickly scan through for these blocks of. Am I going blind or what? There, down here. Double crusher. Powered furnace, that's the one. So, we could actually make powered furnace, that's quite easy. And this does uh, two at once. So, so, I'm actually quite close to that. Let's see, well, not close, but I've got the basic machine frame there. So I could technically go ahead and make that. I mean, that will replace this, and it's a lot quicker. Okay, that's nearly done. I like getting iron. Then it will run through and do silver. That will chew that. I probably should start another batch of sand. So... So yeah, I do. I do need a double. I need a another fur, powered furnace. So I'll probably remove them to and move them. Um, keep that. Put it in here. I think. So let me just pick up some more of this and do this. I wonder how this is handling. Yeah, that's that. Might, that's generating. I don't know how much it generates, but I'm pretty sure this just this basic water will set up is like 88 a tick um, it has all the force from around and underneath because there's the water down there I don't have the extra layer here and here and I honestly don't care because that works if I need another set I'll make it but it doesn't really matter so let's get more bronze if I don't have any I actually do so, just five of you, and one of you, I have iron on me already, so, and then we go powered furnace, which is there, nope, I didn't click the right one, but that's okay, so we'll just do this. Grab four. Oh, we need to do some more crushing. Because we need two in there, two in there, and then we need to make some furnaces. And what on a note on that is see, look at that, and then two gunpowder, and I need some wood. So let's go bam bam. That's one. That's two around like this still couldn't find that missing furnace that I used so not used I mean it just just 
Upton left me. It was very sad. So. Huh? Ah. Oh. I don't know why they went down there, but okay. There's your two furnaces. It's just double, the, the crush is just so slow, but when you get the double crusher, it's just, yeah, so much better. A little bit more to go. No, not down, up! Yeah, idiot. And I needed more treated sticks. Well, I've got lots of treated sticks on me. And there's my new iron casing. And then I need eight of them. Two Anori crystals, which is really easy to make. So one, two. Look at that, thirty-one silver already. Uh, and I just think last time it was that hard to do. Now they just pouring out. See how easy that is. It's in the wrong spot, but hey. And then just two cobblestone. And there we go, our powered furnace. That takes a little while to break, doesn't it? Should be using an axe, but eh. If you want, you can ask me a question. Oh. There we go, powered furnace. Beautiful. And I'll just dump them two in there. And then I'll turn that one eventually into a double crusher. But not at the moment. So we put all this away. Uh, yeah, that can go in there. Gotta make um, compacting drawers eventually. Did a check. You watch. Oh no, I know, I cooked it all up. I can do 12 more. go, 12 more, and I needed more silver, is that the electrum, uh, how many did I need more, uh, what was I making again, mm, casing, uh, so 4 inside, so 12, I've got 5, so 6, That will give me what I need, and we got a little bit in there, so do that. We got some steel. Put you away. Now I always keep one of them on me, a torch, because they come in handy. Uh, I'll put you over in this chest, and I know no, we need more of these. I need to make the mechanical users because I automate all the cleaning and stuff. It's quite easy to do. Okay, so. Now, see, so I'll leave that one open to do all that while I sit back and use this one just to do stone. So. 
me, that one's out. Out of 54, 58, and that should plow through it and be happy. So, there we go. And that's all happy now. And then with this you can go Soul Sand, yay! Now it doesn't charge up quick enough to worry, but when you upgrade it to the second line, whew, you just sit back, throw it, and you can just keep doing it because the uh, mount gets small every time you do it, and you end up doing it fairly quickly. And yeah. Okay, so have you finished yet? It has. So I need a condensed, compressed, see, and then four with a little bit left over. Only because I miscalculated. <laughs> So, slowly entering in the smeltery era, era. So we'll get there. Probably clean up a lot of this. I mean, I, I really love my water wheel. It's just, just working, keeping away. Oh, there you go. 61. It's working at. So that's not too bad. Wondering. Yeah. So this is running at 61. Which is not too bad. It must be 88, which is the max that you can get it at. But 61 RF is, well, considering it's keeping up with this and what else is running with a 4 million buffer. So it's quite good. <laughs> Grab one more iron. See, and I won't need to bother getting any steel for a steel silver for ages, so we'll be good. And that is the new casing. So we'll keep the nether rack just in case we actually need it. So, and there it is. See, look how fast that that feels. So, and that's 241 in speed and efficiency. Wouldn't have a clue what they are here. I think it uses more and uses less of this. That's the only thing I can think of. So, now I can actually make the second tier of them, of these, which. You use the old lead stone, you use three of them, so you think you do, because you make six out of these, and then you bring it in here, so you get equal amount, you just need more of them and invar, and invar is, oh god, how do you make invar, uh, that one, so I can actually make it in the kiln now, so nickel and iron. Um, what do I put in the kiln? It would be coal. I hope it's not coal coke, it's just coal. Um, I can milk it in the smeltery when I get it up and running. Uh, I think it's done in the alloy furnace as well, but it's not showing it. Must be for Tech Reborn, that one. Uh, Silent Gems, that one. Yeah, see? So it's still nickel and iron in there. So, in the alloy furnace. Which is, yeah, alloy one is just two electric furnaces. You don't really need it. There are faster other stuff that are better. So, um, the smeltery actually is really easy to automate to do it. So, and there's our 64 of soul sand. So, we can smelt that up when we want. so we can make some more gold or glowstone or whatever we want with it 
spot. And we need more. So this episode I think is probably just going to be doing small upgrades. Uh, what do they call it? Um, life... Uh, life, life something rather. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell they call it. I know it's. It, I can think of it in my brain, but I just can't get it out. Life improvement, life something or other. Quality of life. That's the one. Quality of life improvements. Get out of here. Really? Well. So, quality of life improvements. So we'll be doing that. We'll smash out all this. See, uh, I actually need another set. Um, you know what's funny? Look at that. Put that in there, and we'll make that out of fours. No, oh, into a four. Uh, you can break some more. Um, yeah, so much silver. Now, how much gold? I still got quite a bit of gold. So I need iron, I probably need al uh, tin, aluminium, so we can do alc, and so gold, don't need copper, well actually we could run the other copper, silver which we're doing, zinc, I don't actually know what zinc's for, I haven't used it yet, nickel, which is quite easy to make, uh, lead, uh, we don't, well, we probably need more lead, but not yet. Cobalt, you can actually, we can make. That could give us a cobalt one. Ardite, which we need magma cream. So we, we'll have to go into starlight infusion or chemical reactor, which is actually quite far away. Osmium, well, that's an empowered in Nori. Draconic, no, nah, can't even touch that. Titanium, well didn't know we could get that quite easily uh, tungsten and that's the corrupted essence so we'll have to automate making of obsidian chrome sugar and lapis iridium okay so there will so we enter tech reborn high and stuff boron well you can't click boron lithium yep same Magnesium, yep. Uh, we can do mithril though. So, yeah, so we got quite a few to get to top up on. Um, so there's our 64 set, so that just, just smashes them. So that's good. So I know we need grout, we need tin actually, we need quite a bit of tin. How much tin do we have? We only got 21 tin, so if we make some more tin. So, we'll quickly just make some more tin. Yeah, so we don't. We've got some little bit of clay there we can use. We've got copper, plenty of copper, but you put like one copper in and it lasts so long, especially in that one. So, do all that 14 already. And 10, 23%. Uh, and then 100 efficiency of 0 0.28. I don't even know how much that would equal. So, 100% speed is 249 ticks. We're at 241. So, it's a little bit under if that goes by per tick. So we will get to 60 here, 64, and then we'll stop, and then we'll whack it in here to get cooked up, which we'll probably need more glass. So not quite there yet. And this next tick should give us enough. Oh, one off. I know it's a waste. Because it will only give us one and not the whole batch, so 
Oops, nearly did it. Nearly just walked off in my own. So let's do that. See? We need to expand this out sooner or later for all the automation that we need to do down here. So I like to do automation underground so you don't see it. So you just see all your pretty machineries up here sitting and waiting to manually use. still pumping out the silver. See, we're into the third stack. And this should now be done, so we whack in that, take that. And then we can go in here. Put you away, you away. Not quite done yet. There's not many actually coming in this one. They're all coming in here. It's, that's fine. It's just you won't get everything. So you were still getting everything that you require. Sugar, eyes. You don't really need eyes anymore. That's not good thing what they're used for. So fermented spider eye scanner, which uh, we don't need actually. A death generator. Poison trap mob filter. Uh, utilities, what that does. Pam's Harvest Craft Spider Eye, which actually does four. That's not too bad. I have to work out what stock is actually used with today. Which is easy to make. I mean, butter. That's three. Oh wow. And that's just peas. Some form of cooked chop, black pepper. I mean, that's not too bad actually. Two. Rice soup's three. Pumpkin soup we probably could do. Make pressure for that. Pot roast. That's not too bad. You just need some form of beef. Three, 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 three. Onion. Grilled cheese. Yeah, that be too much. Old world veggie soup. Okay. Meaty stew. Meat pie. Look at that. Oof. Lamb, see, when you're getting up here, you're actually getting the higher stuff. So, something simple. I mean, I probably could, yeah, see, silky tofu. Something simple to just go through. So, could use that, but, yeah. That, that's quite full. So, yeah. Okay. It's still not finished. So we're going to have a heap of them. That's awesome. And then this one. Yeah, that's just going to make everything a lot better. And there we go. And there's that. So hopefully, yep, that's fully used out. Once we get that used out, we use that, and it'll just exponentially quadruple it. So we do this, and then there's our four bricks. Oops. There we go. And then we make our farms with these. Oh, we're at wrapping up point in time. So it's copper and that, and then thermionic fabricator, which we'll actually make. So we'll make that in next episode. I won't do farm moving. Or I could. Nah, I'll do the next episode. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow because it's bedtime for me. Uh, so we'll do the farm next and put it out over here and yeah we'll do the farm get that running working um, building all the stuff required for it and then move 
and then in between next episode or in between after next episode I will redesign the base because everything's a little bit cramped as you can see move these further back move them further back move all this back further uh, probably move those trees over to here same with the cactus uh, the farm and I'll do a I know that probably could go over there too might move Botania around the only problem is I'll lose some mana but that's no problem but we'll see you next episode anyway so there's a lot of work to do so anyway I'll catch you next episode so later